In the last video of this series we show how to request a force output, perform the analysis and export loads which are then to be used in a detailed FEM study. First we need to realize the interface nodes of the flex buddy. In other words we need to bring them in contact with the corresponding joints of the MBD model. Here too, select the body, frame and click on nodes. Click Fine All. All joints will be realized to the interface nodes. Right click on Create Output icon to request time history of force information. In Properties panel, change output type to Force and select the body, named frame. This outputs forces at the joints of the frame. A dot metadata file will be written in the working directory. This file will be used to extract loads. Go to the Run panel. Save the model analysis file to a working directory. Click on Check to see if there are any modeling errors before you start the analysis. Click on Run to start the analysis. Check if there are any errors after the completion of the analysis. If no errors, go back to Motion View to check results. Click on Animate in the Motion View Run panel to visualize the results. Check displacement and stress results for the frame in Hyperview. The visualization of the simulation results are kept deliberately short as we focus on the simulation process. To derive at meaningful numbers for stresses and displacements, we may would need to check our model parameters such as weight of tubes and wheels, and so on. Go back to Motion View and select Load Export from the Flex Tool menu. This invokes the Motion View Load Export module. Click Open and select. Motorcycle Analysis Meta File. Under Body Selection, select Frame. Click All Steps under Time Selection to export forces for entire simulation time. We will only use highest forces for the analysis. So click Peak to only export, Peak Force Magnitude. Select Force Magnitude Maximum for all joints to export. Click Apply. Under Export Option, select Optostruct slash Nastran. Click on Nastran Options. You can either specify the node ID manually or click on Apply to Auto Number IDs. When done click Apply. Click Export to export the load data. Save the file in the working directory as Load Export. Open Hyper Mesh with Optistruct Profile. Import the frame model in Hyper Mesh. Change file type to All and import the load export.dat file into Hyper Mesh as shown.
Notice how loads are imported and organized at joint locations. At this point you may consider to pursue a shape or size optimization, or we may even reuse the loads in a conceptual topology optimization. We stop here, hoping that this video series has given you some insight into the model building process, at the same time we hope that it helped lowering the entry barriers we all need to overcome if we are new to something. Good luck!